boys and girls. I hope you've had a great day. It's been a chilly day, but a beautiful day. I'm actually on a boat right now. I'm not in Cortland County. Usually I come from Cortland County and I say, can you guess where I am? Today, I'm actually on a boat on Cayuta Lake. And so that's actually in Schuyler County, which is a couple counties away from Cortland County. I um, am camping and I am on a friend's boat and I had a beautiful day. It's very windy though, so I have my sweatshirt and my jeans on. And so because we're reading a book on a boat, I am reading Captain Duck. Captain Duck is written by Jez Albaro, and I think you're going to find this to be a pretty funny book. Pop, 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 coughs the splattering truck. No more fuel left, quacks Duck. It's good. I stopped near my friend Goat. He uses fuel in his boat. Duck rap tap taps at Goat's back door, waits a while, then taps once more. So as I read, I bet you can notice the illustrations go with the story, and I bet you notice the type of writing the author is using. You can hear some rhyming words. Still no answer, so instead, he sneaks a peek inside Goat's shed. Hooray, cries Duck, a stroke of luck fuel for my thirsty truck. I'll only take a drop or two. Look, there's Frog. Where's he off to? So see how each of the rhymes go with a different picture. And so there they go. And he sees that Frog is off to somewhere. So he decides, I think I'll follow Frog. Frog's off to take a trip on a boat. Hello, calls sheep. Hop in, says goat. There's one last thing I need to bring. Now while I'm gone, don't pull that string. They check the map and pack the snack. Then suddenly they hear a quack. Ahoy there, sailors, comes a cry. Is this a boating trip I spy? If there are seas to be explored, make way, Captain Duck's on board. So here he comes. And remember, originally, he just came to borrow the gas can for his truck, but now he's gotten distracted and he's gonna participate in the boat ride. Let's get going. What's this thing? No, cries Frog, don't pull that string. Roar! The engine roars. Frog gives a shout. Oh no, screams Sheep. Frog is falling out. Grab that rope, says Duck. I'll steer. Throw it out when we get near. Ready, steady, get set, throw. Catch, yells Duck. And here we go. So take a look. They're throwing it out to Frog and he's catching it, and all of a sudden, Duck said, here we go. I didn't know Frog could water ski. No, bleats Sheep, neither did he. So they gave him the rope, and then all of a sudden, they pushed the gas, and there they go, so he's water skiing. Oh, please, Duck, don't go too far. Goat will wonder where we are. I think you'd better stop it now. I can't, yells Duck. I don't know how. Besides, we've only just begun, and Frog is having so much fun. Frog doesn't really look like he's having fun, does he, boys and girls? So Captain Duck steers the boat far away from poor old Goat. And Goat is looking for his gas can who finds his can beside a truck. Aha, he says, that naughty duck. Little does he know that duck has been naughty in more ways than one. The little boat bobs on and on until the riverbanks are gone. Just then the engine pop, pop, pops, and with a final cough, it stops. 
The stormy waves begin to swell. Sheep says, I don't feel too well. So keep in mind, boys and girls, sometimes people get what's called seasick. And so if, the, if a boat rocks really a lot during a storm, it can make you feel seasick. And sometimes animals walk through seasick. So I think that's what's going on with our sheep. Come on, says Duck. We'll row to shore. We can't, gasps Frog. There's just one oar. Because look what happened. The oar is gone. They huddle in the bobbing boat and snuggle close to sheep's warm coat. They look so afraid. And there upon the restless deep, three lost friends fall fast asleep. Through the night, hour by hour, Goat keeps lookout from his tower. And then at dawn, through bleary eyes, upon the tide, his boat he spies. So take a look. See, he's in his lookout tower, and he keeps looking and looking, and finally he sees them. Well, bleary eyes, bleary is a word for really, really tired and almost closed because he's so tired. Sheep calls out, we're sorry, Goat. We left you here. We broke your boat. Broken, says Goat, as Duck tries to hide. Oh no, it just needed fuel inside. That's why I went back for the can that I keep spare. I searched through my shed, but the can wasn't there. So notice who's trying to hide. Captain Duck is trying to hide. And look here, Captain Duck is hiding again. Wait, says Frog. Duck was holding a can. It was just before our boat trip began. So Duck took the fuel. That's right, says Goat. Now you know why there wasn't enough in the boat. Look, Duck's getting away, Sheep says. No, he's not, gloats Goat with a glint in his eyes. He took the fuel, that silly Duck. So look, Duck's not getting anywhere because Goat is putting the fuel into the boat. So it says, he took the fuel, that silly duck, but forgot to pour it into his truck. So there it says the truck, pop, pop, pop. And there's the end. So did duck get away without goat giving him a hard time? I think not. That was Captain Duck by Jez Albro. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story, and I hope you enjoyed seeing the lake behind me. I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a great evening with your family. I miss you all. Bye-bye.